Hello, friends. In the first five verses of Romans, the Apostle Paul tells us that times of suffering can produce perseverance. Perseverance produces character, which in turn, character leads to hope. Now, a man by the name of Nicola Paganini exemplified that spirit. Paganini was a well-known and gifted violinist in the 19th century, and while his concerts were sold out all around the world, perhaps his most memorable concert took place one day in Italy. He was performing at an amazing level until one of the strings on his violin snapped and it hung limply from his violin. So what did he do? He continued to play, improvising, as he went. Then, to everyone's surprise, a second string broke. Then shortly thereafter, a third string broke. So there Paganini stood with three broken strings dangling from his Stradivarius. But instead of leaving the stage, he stood his ground and he calmly completed the piece with just the one string that remained. And for me, that story reinforces a couple of things. First, it, it reinforces in, in me the importance of perseverance. It might have been easier for Paganini just to walk off the stage and get a different violin or, or maybe even cancel the rest of the concert altogether. But he didn't. Instead, he persevered. And then second, I think this is a lesson in humility. Not being able to perform at his best, he had to be willing to simply play as well as he could with what he had to work with, even if it was just one string. Now, by way of application, we may feel a bit overwhelmed today, perhaps like we're having to play with fewer strings than we're used to having. So it's important for us to remember during this crisis that God knows how many strings we have at our disposal to play this music of life. We may have four strings or three. Some of us, it might be two, some just one. And maybe for you, this crisis has you reaching that point where you feel as if you don't have any strings at all. Let me assure you again that God knows and he understands and he's more than pleased with whatever music we can offer him today. So why don't we all just show a willingness to serve him with as many strings as we have left and trust that he can use what we have to offer to make beautiful music. Why don't you let me pray with you now? Lord, today many of us are having to do things that are outside of the normal for us, trying to make music with fewer strings at our disposal than we're used to having. But we are reminded today that we are a part of a greater orchestra, the church, the body of Christ. And so we have others who are making music with us. So even as we are sheltering in place and distancing ourselves from one another for a time, may our lives be sweet music to you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Why don't you sing along with me on this song? I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O oh, my soul. Rejoice, take joy, my King. sweet, sweet sound in your ear. May God bless you with a beautiful song today, and I'll see you again tomorrow.